Hello Grade 11s, welcome to our first lesson for Term 3 and now we're going into completely new work for Grade 11. You haven't done this in um, Grade 10 and this is a follow-up chapter on solid geometry. The difference here is instead of drawing one solid that you cut, this is where you take two hollow objects and they are mushed together or the fancy word, um, they are penetrating each other. And you have to develop the, these surfaces to show how they develop. And I'm going to show you how to draw the picture and how to develop the image. So it says, what they give you, oh, and remember this is a follow-up on solid geometry, so this is still first, um, uh, first orthographic projection. There we go. So they give you the front view and the top view of a right regular uh, right square prism that has been shaped to fit around a square prism. So it's one large um, square pipe okay, that fits into another square pipe. It's almost like a, imagine a tree and there's a branch sticking out. And then it says scale, draw the scale to one, the given top view, the given front view. The complete left view, so that's not given, we have to draw it, and then develop the two surfaces of both prisms. So in other words, the net. If you fold it open, how would it look like? So I'm going to start by just drawing the picture that's given. So in other words, copying it again so we can actually draw the picture. Okay, so this is they gave you a starting point to make sure your picture fits in. It's not always given, then you'll have to plan your picture. Okay. I'm busy with the top view. It's going to be below the front view because it's first angle. Okay, now I can't continue with the top view, and if you can't, that's fine. Now let's go to the front view. Don't forget about your XY line. Okay, the front view is done, and now I just need to finish the top view.
Okay, so that's the given two views. Before I do anything else, I'm going to label it because it's so much easier to, to follow along if you've got numbers. So for the big prism, I'm going to use numbers and for the small prism, I'm going to use letters. Okay, so the big prism, one, two, three, four. So it's one, two and four and three, but there's a bottom as well. One, two, three, four. And it's five, six, seven, eight. So five, six and eight and seven. Then for the small one, I'm going to use letters. So A, B, C, D. A, C is there. B and D. And then at, behind it, um, A, B, C, D. E, F, G, and H. So... so this is... E, G, that's F, and that's H. Okay, you can, if you don't like this numbering, you can use a different system, but it's vital that you have to number it. You'll, you'll, you know, you're going to struggle if you don't do it. And now we have to go and draw the left view. Just like solids, we also use projection as we do in mechanical assembly. So I'm going to draw another XY line. I'm going to label it as X2, Y2. And now I'm going to bring it over. So I'm, I'm projecting it up to the left view. The square prism, the smaller one is over here. Point H and F, if you take it up, there's H and F again, so look. There's H and F, it goes up, and there's H and F again. Connect them together. And there's the left view. Just need to... Say something feels wrong. I'm missing this part here. Okay, now to let's label it again. So this is two and six. This is one, three, five, and seven. And then in front is four and eight. Then we've got A, B, and D, and C. At the back we've got E, F and H, and G. Okay, so that, 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 this is, I almost want to say the first phase. So we've, we've drawn the top view, we've drawn the front view, we've completed the left view, clearly showing the curve of interpenetration, got it. And now we have to take both these hollow prisms and fold it open. Okay, so... The easiest way to do this, if possible, is to do it in line with the prism. So what I'm going to do is for the small one, I'm going to unfold it here. Because then it's less work. So 
we're going to fold it open. So I'm going to draw it flat. And if you cut it out, then that's what you're going to see. So. Now it's a square prism. And the size of the small square is 28 millimeters. So I'm going to divide. I'm going to divide this line up into four 28 because there's four sides. So there's the first 28. Now you could use a ruler, but I'm going to now use my compass. And I'm going to label it. I labeled the one side of the square um, prism as A. Did they specify where to open it? No. So I'm going to start at A, B, C, D, and we need another A again. That's only three sides. And A again. Now, the height you can either get with your compass or since it's in line with the um, development in any way, here's the height of A, B, that's the height, C is, low, is lower again, and then A again. And if you connect it together, Here's the development, or they call it the net, of the small prism. So if it was flat on a piece of paper like this, or in a, if you think about it as a factory on a metal sheet, they would laser cut this out and then fold it together to get the, um, the prism that they need. Okay, so there's so that so if I cut this out, I would get this in 3D. Okay, so there it is. Oh, and just you can follow, uh, it was A B, so it's E F G H and E again. You can see all the all the letters. Now for this oak, yeah. I think there's enough space next to it. Um, next to it. If it's not, if there's not, I'll make another plan. But let's see. I, it looks like I'll get enough space. So let's say I start it there. And the big square has it's 38. So I'm going to set it set 38. I don't think it's going to fit. Then I'll show you what you're going to do. Okay, 38. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to fit. So 38. Ah, no. So, the only place where I still have space left is here at the bottom. So I'm going to use it. So I'm going to start drawing it here. So I'm going to first just draw a line. For the, um, the big square prism is a square as well. So I'm going to divide the square up into pieces. So I'm going to, again, I'll start at 1. And the length is 38. Just check again, yes, it's 38. So that's one part, two parts, three parts, four, so one, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three, four, one. Yes, there we go. So label it one, two, three, four, and one. Now let's start with one. One, there's the height. Okay, so put it down here. Two. 
can, I seem not to have enough space. I'm just, I'll have to move this line downwards a bit. So I'm just going to move it down a bit. And remember, one is technically above it. So below it is five, two is six, three is seven, four is eight, and then one again is five. Let's see now if it fits. Yes. Then for six, look at six. That's where the other prism starts. So that's going to be a hole. But there's also a top part where it comes. No, wait, does it come together again? No, you can just leave it open. Yeah. Then seven is the is the same as five. So this is one five, three seven, oh, I see there's nothing at six actually. Look at six, it's just a blank. So this should be here. Five again, stay at the top. Okay, we are almost done. Now, if you look at the, the top view, between one and four, well, one and four and five and eight, and three and four and seven and eight, there's a spot there. So what you do is, from, I'm going to measure from 4 towards 1, or you could see it as 8 towards 5. I'm going to measure with my compass. So from 8 towards 5. So here, there's that distance. Remember, it's flat. So we have to use the flat side. Same on the other side. From 4 towards 3, up 8 towards 7. bring this up but that's the corners and the height you get from here I connect, if I connect this together, this is what I'm going to get. And there is the other development. Now I want to show you. Now I want to show you what happens. What's the purpose of this drawing? Now imagine this was a metal sheet, okay? And if I, if you laser cut this part out, and you laser cut this part, and you fold it, you can fit the two into into each other. So let me get a scissor, 
And I'm going to do my best with my scissor to show this to you. Okay, so there, there's the answer. I'm going to show you what's the purpose of interpenetrations um, or the other name is developments. Well, this is the interpenetration part and this is the development part. First cut out the small prism. I'm gonna take my board away. Okay, so there's a small prism. I'm going to fold it on these lines. And if you bring them together, there's the prism. Let's see if I can, I can use some press stick just to hold it together. Okay, so there's the one prism and then it fits into this prism here. Then this part here sh will be um, cut out. I'm going to put them together. It's not going to look perfect. Let's just see if I can hold it in place. But then the idea is that this prism fits in here. Like this. Okay, if this was now folded perfectly, you would have seen it. But that's how it fits together. Okay, so it's a it's a hollow prism, and this is like the bro um, the tree, and this is the branch, and they fit together like this. Okay, and that is page. What was the page number? Again, I cut it out. I can't remember. <laughs> that was page. Where's my seventy-eight? There you go.